Hello, class of 2023. Congratulations to you all. This is a milestone moment in your life, and I'm delighted and honored to be part of it. My name is Satya Priya Sharma, Priya for short. Uh, I was a computer engineering major and now work for Cisco Systems in security engineering space. Cisco was my first company that I joined after completing my master's, and I have been part of this amazing organization for almost 22 years. I've worked in various roles and different technologies during this time. And this is what I'm here to talk to you guys about today, the importance of technology, how we can em embrace it, be ready for it, since the technological landscape is changing so quickly. Charles Darwin is credited with saying, it is not the strongest of the species that survives, but the most adaptable. Seeing the technology trends and advances, that is so true in today's world. And adapting, embracing, does not merely mean doing it because it's the newest trend out there. We need to see what the value it's bringing to most of it, and then see if that is one of the things that we have to adapt to. In today's day and age, everyone is touched by technology multiple times during a day. At the moment, we cannot even imagine how the world and everyone functioned without technology, how far we have come in terms of innovation and being dependent on technology from just our parents or grandparents time. It may be difficult to imagine for you guys, but for us, computers were only found in computer labs and they were all these these rooms with air conditioned units, you had to leave your shoes outside so no dust goes in and all those things, right? Um, but now everybody has Chromebooks in the classes. All the students have it. All the teaching is done online most of the time. With all the advances in AI happening and more and more com companies embracing it, the future workspaces, regardless of the industry, will eventually settle into an intimate working relationship with AI technology. So one of the relevant skills crucial for future career success is the ability to work side by side with AI, machine learning, robotics, whether it's for virtual reality, whether it's you know just automating your home or automating the cars, anything. And this can be achieved by looking into programming languages like Python, R, um, or whatever the current um, programming language would be when you guys go to for undergrad or any other path that you pursue. Now, knowing about data analytics is also very crucial. We are living in the era of big data and analytics is everywhere. This will help one make data-driven decisions. Now, consider having all the automation and all the details from AI, the machine learning and all, and making sure that all those decisions that we are making with AI are data-driven. That's, that's amazing and that's so powerful, right? So continuous learning, be it via certification, or take, taking an executive course when you're, once you're working or doing something else will be an advantage. Always stay current with the industry that you are in. Among all of this, we should not forget the soft skills as well. EQ is a must in today's world. And that is something that AI cannot replicate. Humans have the ability of critical thinking, collaboration abilities, communication, we are resilient, we can do self-regulation, we are self-aware, we can lead, uh, there's motivation, empathy, all these skills have to be honed in because no matter what the technology is during this day and age or whenever it is, these are the soft skills which you will always, always, always need. So always be working on these skills as well. So technology is going to be part of our lives and embracing it, how we can will only benefit us, right? So make sure there is an emphasis on staying current with the technology trends, not only in the field that you are interested in, but branch out to other areas if possible. You should be 
looking to finding a mentor or a coach for guidance. That can come in the form of your teachers, your parents, um, sometimes if you're working, your manager, your peers, right? Join a local chapter for a professional organization, which is going to actually help you get these mentor and coaches who can guide you sometimes what's current in the industry, what's relevant in the industry, right? Attend conferences if you can, virtual and in, in person. There are a lot of free conferences, especially virtuals, that anybody can attend it. So attend those virtual conferences or in-person conferences. See, see what are the people talking about? And that's good for networking as well. And don't forget soft skills, which along with the technological intelligence will take you places. I wish the class of 2023 all the best for your new beginnings, wishing you even more success in future. And remember, if you guys need any guidance or if you need somebody to talk to, people like me who are in your advisory councils are always available to you, whether you are in the school or outside the school. All the very best, fresh everything. Bye, guys.